As the weather warms up, many of us want to spend more time outside, but protecting our skin is the most important thing you can do. And we're going to talk a little bit about skin cancer awareness right now with our medical contributor, Dr. Ogachika Alozi from Sunset West Health. Thank you for coming on this afternoon. Thank you for having me as always. Well, we're glad to have you here. First of all, let's talk about the instances of skin cancer. I mean, there's five in 10 people can get it. Yeah, it's interesting, right? We talk so much about colon cancer and breast cancer and a host of other things, but it's remarkable that one in five Americans are gonna develop this. Almost 20 people die a day from melanoma. And you know what's frustrating about it? And this is like we talk about all the time. There's so many ways to prevent this. All right, let's look at our, our next graphic here because it, it talks about how UV rays actually cause skin cancer and aging, aging and damage your DNA. Yeah, yeah. so I, you know, the analogy I have as people sort of look at this graphic is, think about what happens when you put bacon on a frying pan, right? How it gets wrinkled and crinkly and crunchy. That's what the sun does to your skin, right? It causes damage, dark patches. It can increase those wrinkles, right? A lot of people are involved in getting Botox and a host of things. Nothing wrong with those things, but I think when you're young, you forget that if you protect your skin now, you wouldn't have to get a lot of those things down the road. And there are some people who are more susceptible to skin cancer for various reasons, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So I'm kind of lucky. Like one of the good things about being dark skinned is that I don't have to protect my skin as much. There are people, whether they have freckles, they're lighter skinned, they take medications like steroids. There are a lot of people that have eczema and psoriasis that have to take creams that actually thin out their skin. And what's really important for you to think about is What's happened to your family, right? If you have a grandmother or grandfather that has had melanoma, that has had those skin patches, you probably need to be more careful about how you protect yourself than the average person does. And so those are kind of the early warning signs. And of course, being dark skinned, you're, <laughs> you're, you're fortunate, but there are light skinned black people, there are Hispanic people, Absolutely. there are Asian Americans Absolutely. who are more susceptible. You know, it's funny, I never thought I had to wear sunscreen until I went to the Dominican one vacation. And I got sunburned for the first time, probably in my 30s or early 40s. Didn't know. And so when I tell people, hey, anybody can get a sunburn and multiple sunburns can lead to damage, the key number, and I'll say this again, I'll be a broken record, is SPF 30. You got to wear sunscreen that's at least F SPF 30. You want to try to protect yourself. And I know people want to look cute in their bathing suits, but hey, those high sun areas they're not good for your skin long term. And let's look at some of the ways you can protect yourself from uh, sun, uh, from, from damage from the sun. Yeah, absolutely. So I think getting those umbrellas, right? If you're at the beach or you're in Vegas or you're in Miami, get a cabana or get those umbrellas that can protect you. Wear a swimsuit that has more protection or cover up, right? A lot of people like to wear these cover ups. They're cute, they're long, they're flowy. Avoid tanning beds. Tanning beds are huge, and you know, tanning beds give you direct rays and direct damage to your skin. And I know a lot of people want to look summer ready, and that's great, but you can wear sunscreen when you go to a tanning bed, right? You don't have to become that piece of bacon that's getting <laughs> fried up in that tanning bed. And there are two kinds of sunscreen that uh, you probably need to talk a little bit about. <laughs> yeah, so there's the chemical version, right? And there's the protective version, or the physical version. The physical version has those metals in it, like titanium and zinc. And essentially, think about it, you're rubbing tin foil into your body. The biggest difference is that those are the ones that leave the white sort of film on your skin. The other one are the chemical sunscreens, right? Those ones rub in a lot better, but they actually help to absorb those difficult and damaging pieces of the sun from your skin. Those are the ones that have like benzenes and a host of other things. And so again, the number here is 30, right? If you're gonna be out in the, skin, in the sun, get that SPF 30, try not to be out in the sun for more than two hours. And hey, remember, even if you're into tanning beds, you can still wear sunscreen on a tanning bed. You don't have to become that bacon because we don't want you to be crunchy and crispy. And of course, reapply every hour or so. Every two hours, really, right? And so if you're in that direct sun, if you're in water, water has that reflective ability to actually concentrate the sun's rays. You want to try to put that on at least every two hours. Get out of the sun when you can. Hey, enjoy the summer. I mean, we live in a beautiful community. That's what we're here for. But at the same time, do it safely. Dr. Ochiko Lozi, thank you. Thank you.